evening, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to my studio. I am Jody Breckville, also known as the Stampin' Queen. And I am here tonight just to share a little bit about Stampin' Up! and maybe share my story. Some of you guys might not know how I came to be doing what I do. So, oh, hello, friends. Yay. So I'm not usually on in the evening. So this is definitely something different for me. But I am so glad that you are here and you are joining me. I'm seeing my friends come on. I absolutely love this. So hey, everybody. Um, this is my Stampin' Studio. You don't often get to see it. Usually you just see my hands, but I'm working with some new streaming software and I'm really, really liking it. Um, so we are actually streaming live right now to my Facebook group and to YouTube. So I'm really, really pleased. Um, this technology stuff is not anything I thought I would need or have to be doing, but here we are and it's working very well. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So come on in, say hello, friends, sit down. Maybe you've got your jammies on. I may or may not have pajama bottoms on right now. Um, grab yourself a beverage and just, it's just kind of a hangout. Just, I'm going to share a little bit of my story, a little bit about stamping up, and we're going to do some stamping. So um, like any host, uh, when you come to a party, you don't want to come empty handed, right? And so I did bring a little prize patrol and hopefully you guys will be really excited when you see what I have to give away today. I have got the Penguin Place Bundle. So this was a little tricky to get during the holidays. He was kind of in and out of stock, um, but I do have this bundle available this evening. This is my prize patrol. And all you need to do is comment where you're joining me from. I see some of my Florida friends are here. Um, one thing that you may need to do is at the top of this broadcast, if you are on Facebook, you may need to just hit up, scroll up to the top and you need to allow Facebook uh, permission to, to uh, view your name. So you should only need to do that one time because until you do that, we are in a private group right now and as well as on YouTube. And if you are allowing um, Facebook, just your name, that's the only thing they're accessing. Uh, and then the next time we come on, I'll be able to see uh, your name. So it's just a privacy thing. So just head up to the top. I think it's like streamyard.com slash Facebook, something like that. So, all right. Oh my goodness. We've got people from all over. That is fantastic. So this giveaway, this prize patrol is going to be given away right when I am done here. Um, so if everybody's catching the replay, it's just for my live friends who are actually joining me in person. So the Penguin Place Bundle, uh, just comment where you are joining me from. That's all you need to know. Some of my local friends are here. Some of my friends from all over the country. I love it. So anyway, friends, as I mentioned, I am Jody Breckville, also known as Stampin' Queen. And I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for almost 20 years. I can hardly believe it myself, but this summer I will be celebrating 20 years with Stampin' Up. And so I just thought maybe I would share how that all came to be. Some of you guys know my story. Some of you may have not heard it. Um, but a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I was pregnant with a little baby girl uh, named Taryn. And I was invited to my first Stampin' Up! workshop for, um, through a friend at work. So I went along and I fell in love immediately. As soon as I, I picked up that stamp ink and paper, I was hook, line and sinker. Um, I just could not believe that what I made looked exactly like what the demonstrator made. It was amazing. And if you guys have been around for a while, uh, you remember our uh, stamp and chalks, the, um, they were in like an artist palette and we had all these little teeny tiny chalks and we used those chalks and I just, I was, I was smitten. And I thought, my goodness, I am going to save so much money if I make my own Christmas cards, right? Haven't we told ourselves that a thousand times? All the money we'll save by doing this stamping thing. Um, but I did uh, buy some things and I stamped and made my Christmas cards with my screaming newborn. And still here I am loving stamping uh, to this day. Now, why did I join Stampin' Up? Um, well, I was quitting my job. In my first life, I was actually a veterinary technician and I was quitting my job and I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. So of course, going down to one income, I knew that my stamping budget was going to be cut. So I thought, well, if I sold Stampin' Up, if I actually signed up and I actually sold a little bit here and there, I could get my discount. 
I could get out in the real world with some grownups because I was going to be home with screaming babies all the time. Um, and maybe I can make a little money. My, my goal was to make back what I had taken out of the family income to buy the kit. Back then, you guys, that kit was very expensive. It was, I think there was a $199 version and a $299 version. And you got what they gave you. You could pick maybe a color and maybe a stamp set, but everything else was standard and you got this kit. So that was a big chunk of money that I was taking out of my budget. So I thought, well, if I start a club and I have some people stamp with me each month, I will make back that, that three or $400 and then I won't be out anything. And then I'm just going to do it till it's not fun anymore. So here I am. 20 years later, and I'm still having fun. I love the fact that I was able to make my own schedule to do what worked for me, uh, especially having children. So I was able to be very active in my kid's life all the way until, I mean, I'm still active in my kid's life, even if they don't want me to be, um, but they are 21 and 23. Uh, and so my business has changed, definitely has changed uh, over that time. But when I first started, I just did one event uh, each month with some friends and just was able to uh, make a little bit of income. So flash forward, obviously, I said now I'm doing this full time. My business has definitely changed year to year to year, especially in the last two years. I never thought I would be on a Facebook Live hanging out with my friends from all over the country, um, but it's great. And I still love what I do every single day. And I'm able to set my own schedule which is very important because I'm married to a dairy farmer. Um, and so sometimes his schedule can fluctuate. He can be a little bit, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, spur of the moment. And so I'm sometimes able to kind of take advantage of that because I am home. We both work from home together. So um, I have a decent sized team, the Moveless Stampers. I am beyond proud of them. I love all of them. And I'm very passionate uh, about what I do. I've been able to earn some income. I've been able to have some fun money, some play money. I've been able to, you know, do those things like take care of the sports for the kids, um, little extras like haircut and color, you know, the things that you need, but your budget starts to get cut when you're one income family. Um, I take care of the vet bills for the animals. Um, I've had some extra money to do some fun things. I bought my, my first car myself. Uh, with my Stampin' Up! money, and I'm on my second car now paying with my Stampin' Up! money. I have been blessed to earn incentive trips and been able to travel around the world uh, because of Stampin' Up! And I can make an announcement officially today, as of my very last workshop that I entered at about an hour and a half ago, I have earned the 2023 trip to the Baltic Sea. So I'm super excited. And the, the only reason that I get there is because of you guys and because of my team. So what you guys do in my life is very, very meaningful. And hopefully, oh my gosh, you guys, hopefully I we're able to go. So many thoughts and prayers that we will be able to um, uh, cruise again in 2023, but we shall see. And I've also been able to travel around the country to various Stampin' events. And I have met people I never would have met before. I would have never met any of you guys had it not been for Stampin' Up. So it is a huge part of my life. So I often think a lot of times, what would happen if no one told me about this? What would happen if, if um, Drina had not invited me to that Stampin' Up event? What would have happened had my upline Cindy, um, I have two upline Cindy's, um, and it would if they would have never offered the opportunity to me. So I'm here looking at you guys saying, I want to make sure that you know there's an opportunity for you guys. No pressure, no push, nothing like that. Just sharing what I love, what I get to do, my passion, and um, letting you guys know what the perks are available so then that you can think about that and decide if that's something that you might want to do. So what I'm here tonight is to share a little bit about the perks that you get from Stampin' Up! Some of you guys may be demonstrators on here. I can't see everybody's name, but I'm sure a ton of you guys, if you're a demonstrator, you know, let me know. Shout out to the demonstrators who are, are on tonight. Let me know if you are a demonstrator as well. Um, I know I see some of my team on here. So yay, thanks for joining me, guys. And um, we do have a special, always during celebration, we offer a little addition onto our Stampin' Starter Kit. And so that's why I wanna make sure that you guys know 
that there is a special going on and we're running out of time through the end of February. So during celebration, um, if you love Stampin' Up! like I love Stampin' Up! and your wish list is really long, the starter kit may be the best bang for your buck. And that's why I'm always here. I want to make sure that you know what the best value is. And the best value a lot of times can be the, the starter kit itself. So the starter kit itself is $99. So what do you get with that $99? The first and foremost thing that I think we all join for is the discount. We get an automatic 20% discount off of every single thing that we purchase. And we have the ability, oh my gosh, look at all the demonstrators on here. Ah, I love it. Um, you get the ability to bump up to a 25% bonus. So I always equivalent that to the to Kohl's, right? If you, I don't know if everyone has Kohl's uh, shopping or department store in the area that they live, but the joke around here is you never go to Kohl's unless you've got your coupon. So they send you these coupons and it sometimes can be 10%, 15%, but you wait, you always wait to get that 20 or 25% and then you head in. So, so having your discount is like shopping at Kohl's, you always have that coupon. Um, the starter kit is going to include $125 of product. So you're going to get about $26 extra. So 99 is the kit, but you get to pick $125 of product. Now the 125 can be whatever it is that you choose. So if you are a brand new stamper, maybe you're going to get a little bit of the new stuff, stamps ink, paper, um, refill, you know, adhesive refills, envelopes, that kind of thing. Maybe you've been with Stampin' Up as long as I have. And so you're like, I'm going to stock up on cardstock and re-inker and ink. Maybe you're looking at that stamp and cut and emboss machine. That can be part of your kit. So um, you're going to get $125 in product. Then we're going to add in a free paper pumpkin. So you're going to get a standard paper pumpkin kit. Um, I'm not sure what which one they do give you in the kit now. It does, it does change, but it is not the monthly one. So, so it will not be the February or the March kit. It's, it's a standard um, starter kit pumpkin, but still it's a $23 value. So you do get that paper pumpkin that you can share with your friends. You're going to get free shipping on your starter kit. So that's about a $15 value as well. Starter kit's $99, you pay tax, free shipping. So that's a good deal in itself. Now, the thing that I love to share is what I call the triple dip. So Stampin' Up! is a direct sales company. It's a little different than some others. Some of you guys may be in other direct sales. I have been in other direct sales companies, but Stampin' Up! is one that allows you to triple dip. So whatever we are offering as a customer, you are able to take advantage of. So if we have a special or a perk for a customer, you get to take advantage of it, even if you're a demonstrator. Then when your order or your, your purchase reaches $150, that's considered a party that means you get host benefits. So, so you're able to get those as well. So we're gonna let you choose free stuff when your order reaches 150. Even if you're a demo, even if you're just ordering for yourself, you can still get the host rewards. Then you can be a demonstrator. So not only are you getting the perks of the party, you're also getting a discount on the other end. Cause Stampin' Up! knows who our best customers are. It's, it's us. We always need more paper. We always need more ink. We always need more refills. We always need more cardstock. We always need more stamps too, right? You know, you think you have enough and then you're like, ah, oh, I love everything in this catalog. So we know that we are the best customer and that's consumable. So we need to be replacing it. So we don't have commitments that you, nobody's going to pressure you. Nobody's going to contact you and be like, you need to have this many in sales each month. You need to have this many parties. You need to have this many ordering customers. You can be be what we call a happy shopper. You can be a shopper for yourself, getting your discount, saving yourself some money. So that's why I love to share that. There is the ability to earn income as you sell. You definitely can earn income, but it is totally your business to do what you choose. I went in it knowing I was always going to move it a little bit forward as a business, but where I was 20 years ago is not where I am today. Sometimes I hear people say, I could never do what you do. Girls, I didn't think I was going to be here either. I was at home with two screaming babies having a party once a month. That was it. Um, but I have changed things and it has evolved. And I also know that this was God's plan. There's nothing in my life. There, well, I should say there's two things in my life. My husband and my, and my Stampin' Up. These are two things that was put in front of me. And that was like, this is what you need in your life. So that gets me a little like, eek. Um, Anyway, it's very, very clear in my life that this was God's plan. Um, all of you came into my life for a reason. 
I've got to meet everybody for a specific reason. I would not have done that. Was I a stay at home mom sitting in my pajamas, you know, with, with kids and not getting out and not socializing and not having stamping. Um, as hard as it is to imagine, I am an extreme introvert and I bet a lot of demonstrators would tell you the same. I am what they call an extroverted introvert. So my, my fallback is I want to be in the back. I want to be quiet. I don't want to speak, but, um, Stampin' Up! has made me come out of my shell and be able to talk in front of people and be able to do Facebook lives and all that kind of stuff. So it has changed my life in that way as well. Um, of course, you get catalogs early. That's always a big perk. I know you guys love that. Um, shout out if you love getting your new catalog early. So we get catalogs and sneak peeks. So usually a month ahead of everybody else. Uh, and then we get the pre-order. So we love to have a pre-order ahead of time as well. So for celebration right now is going on for customers, January and February. Demonstrators had it in December. So demonstrators actually get celebration three months out of a year. Um, Stampin' Up! does give us some events to attend. We have live and we have in-person praying. We get in-person events this year, um, but there are Stampin' Up! events that are always available to every demonstrator, no matter what you're doing. Um, oh, Beth says, give me that catalog. I know it. I know it. That is definitely a huge perk is getting to see it early. It's like Christmas. And I definitely will, will show my age because I remember waiting on that Sears and that JCPenney wish, wish book um, at Christmas time where it would come in the mail and you would just sit and like pour through it and make your notes. The Stampin' Up! catalog is like the, the new JCPenney wish book, I think. I'm like, when's it coming? When's it coming? And then I just make my list. I don't like looking at it online, y'all. They give it to us early. We can look at it online, but it just doesn't do it for me. I need that hard copy in my hand, a cup of tea, my notebook, and I just like to sit and actually look at a hard, hard copy catalog. So um, there is also incentives. There are bonuses. There's, there's um, awards. There's things that you can earn along the way um, if you choose. It's a player pass type thing. And starting off, you may say, I never want to do anything. I just want to get my discount. That is absolutely okay. But as time goes on, you may be like, you know what? I want to stay up with a couple friends and a couple friends may want to buy some things for me. So we don't lock anybody into a box. Your, your, your business is your business and it can change and evolve as you choose. Um, of course, there's team commissions available. So you can earn income based on your team should you decide to um, move, move forward with that. Again, totally play or pass. There's no pressure from me, no pressure from stamping up on that. Um, and then in quick start, that is a little carrot that we dangle in the early days as you're a demonstrator to, um, if you reach that, we're going to give you free stamps. Who doesn't want free stamps, right? So that's just some perks from Stampin' Up! So let's chat about perks of being a Moveless Stamper. So that's my team, the Moveless Stampers. And it's a little shout out to the fact that we are dairy farmers. That's what my husband does. That's the big business that really runs this whole circus. Um, and so I kind of gave a little shout out to the ladies who work so hard every day, making the milk, making the butter, making the ice cream, and allowing us to have uh, what we have here. And then Stampin' Up! is my little fun money, my little side hustle, um, and what I get to do. Um, and I do think, you know, throwback to when COVID and lockdown came, thank goodness I had this. Oh my gosh, would I have gone crazy if I would have not been able to stamp. So there are definite reasons. We don't always know what they are, but there's definite reasons to have stamping in our lives. Um, so as so perks of a mobilist stamper, uh, I have monthly and quarterly events. Our monthlies are Zoom. So if you are not local to me, no worries. We all Zoom together every single month. And then quarterly, we do in-person events if we can. Oh, there goes my nose. And I was going to grab a tissue. I did. I was thinking. Okay. So um, we do have those events. Those are available and open to all demonstrators on my team, first, second, and third level. And I do awards. I do recognition uh, based on what you're doing. I offer incentives. And uh, if you are local to me, I have half price classes in my studio. So this has changed definitely over um, the COVID situation because we aren't stamping in person as much as we used to. But if it's available, if you're a local person and you want to come to an event, uh, your, your um, class would be half price. Now, that because joining is not uh, a bad thing. Um, that's what I hear a lot, too, from, from my customers. This is if I join your team, can I still do this? Can I still come to that? Oh, my gosh, yes. And some. 
because we do, I have retreats. I have all kinds of cool things that you get to do as you're part of the Moogalist Stampers. Um, so since I don't have as many classes in person, I started doing monthly classes at home. These are completely virtual classes. Some of you guys actually take them. And um, what I do if you are part of my team is you actually get the PDF tutorial for free. So because I'm not doing as much in person and some of my team isn't local to me, I do give everyone my PDFs. So those are available to you to use in your personal stamping or you might even choose to um, use them in your business and do a class at home with your customers and your team and that kind of thing. Uh, of course, we have business training and that comes from me. And sometimes I team up with other demonstrators. So if you are interested in moving forward and doing some business with Stampin' Up, we have that available to you. And we, of course, have a great Facebook group. We're very active on Facebook. And uh, then I said I have challenges, creative and business challenges each month, and I give away prizes. So um, there's always that op opportunity. So if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're moving forward as a business, I have some business challenges. If you are a happy shopper or a smart consumer and you are just stamping for the sake of stamping and to get your discount, I have creative challenges for you and I give away prizes each month. So that's just a little bit of perks from Stampin' Up! and me as Moveless Stampers. So what I thought we might do is actually check out, um, let me see if I can get this work in here. We are going to check out what you could get in your starter kit. So let me see if I can get my view work in here and we will see what might be available uh, to you if for your $125. Okay, we also are going to do a little bit of stamping too. And, um, but let's go ahead and see $125, right? So I kind of looked at this and I'm like, well, what would I want to get? One of the perks I told you about was that you get sneak peeks and you get things a little bit early. So one of the things that we have coming up in March is called the Waves of the Ocean promotion. And it is available as part of your starter kit as well. So let's see what is in that kit. First of all, there is a pack of a gorgeous designer series paper. So you could get this in your kit. Hopefully you can see it all. Isn't it so cool? You're probably going to start seeing all kinds of stuff on Facebook with that. Or not Facebook, on Pinterest. So you could get this pack of paper beautiful. Then we have coordinating. Oh, there's still more. I wasn't done. There's even more beautiful pieces. All kinds of pretty colors. Pacific Point, especially Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, looks like maybe some mango and some daffodil. So we've got that pack of paper. We have coordinating foil. I don't know if this is going to showcase how gorgeous this foil is. So we've got silver, Coastal Cabana, and Pacific Point foil. So you could get that in your starter kit as well. We've got the Waves of Inspiration bundle. So you could get the stamp and the dies. Look at those cool waves. So you could actually get the stamp set. We have Waves Rhinestone Jewels. So I don't know if, can you see how pretty they are? I know I have a glare, but we've got um, Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana, Pool Party, Granny Apple Green. This almost could be like maybe a Bermuda Bay. So we've got gorgeous rhinestones. Of course, you'll need some paper. So how about a pack of Pacific Point and a pack of Basic White? We definitely need ink. So how about we add two ink pads, Pacific Point and Coastal Cabana. This is totally a suggestion. You always need adhesive. So we've got a stamp and seal. And then we had a couple bucks left. So we added some dimensionals. That came out to $124.75. So you could get all that as part of your starter kit. But remember, your starter kit 
totally customizable. So you could get anything that you choose. All right, my friends. So should you guys have any questions about the starter kit or joining or being a demonstrator, let me know in the comments. If I see them, I will definitely answer them. If not, I will go back and answer after the live is over. Um, and I will put my link in the description of this video. So should you decide that tonight's the night, Jody is the one, I'm going to take the plunge, the link will be there for you. But of course, you guys, if you should have any questions, make sure and let me know. I am happy to answer them for you. Now, I did promise you guys some stamping, right? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping and then I'll let you guys go. Okay. So we're going to do a bay window card this evening, and I also will have a tutorial. So I'm going to post the tutorial, though um, I think I can do a link to the tutorial. I will post that in the, um, in the event. So if you don't find it, it won't post till tomorrow, but if you don't find it, uh, give me a shout and let me know. So we're going to start off with a piece of basic black. And it is four and a quarter by 11. So I'm gonna put the 11 inch at the top and we're gonna do some scoring. So I'm gonna score at three eighths. And in case you're not sure, the eights are the little tiny ones in between the big ones. So here's one, two, and three. It's the notch right before the half. So we're gonna do a score there. We're gonna do one and seven eighths. That's the tiny notch right before the two. Three and five eighths. That's the tiny notch right after the half. And five and a half. Nope. Wait, I, I think I skipped one. Three eighths, one and seven eighths, three and five eighths, five and one eighth. That's the one I missed. And then five and a half. Now, I do believe I need a paper trimmer and I didn't bring it. So we are gonna work with the marble paper. Did you guys get the marble paper yet? All right, my apologies if you were getting some feedback. I realized that I didn't, um, I didn't turn my sound off. So we've got a piece of the, the uh, Marvelous Designer Series paper, and it is four and one eighth by six. So we're going to we're going to trim that down and we are going to cut it at one and three eighths. And again, like I said, guys, you'll have this you'll have a tutorial, a PDF tutorial for this one and three eighths one and five eighths another one and three eighths and then our leftover will be one and five eighths so i'm keeping them together so let's Keep them like that. And then we're going to glue them onto our card base. So we definitely want, we definitely want a bone folder for this one. So we're going to fold it in half and we're going to make these score lines nice and crisp. Now I want to give a shout out. I don't know if she's on tonight. Jenna Lonzo, are you on with me tonight? Jenna Lonzo is one of my team members and she did this card for our mystery stamping. That's something that we do uh, on our team as well. Each month we do a mystery stamp and this was her project. And I said, I'm totally stealing that. I love a bay window card. All right. So now what I did, that little teeny one right there is folded back. So you can see that. Now these are gonna fold forward. So this is actually what's making the window part. Forward, and then that one is gonna fold back. So I'm making those nice and crisp. There we are. Now I messed up my paper. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attach those down. And regular, I'm just using good old stamp and seal here. And you could actually use either uh, either color for this or either side, right? One looks like kind of the shaving cream technique and then one side kind of looks marbled. So we're just gonna fit these right in there. The bigger piece is in the middle. There we are. And then this piece is going to hang out right here on the inside of your card. Now I also have a piece of basic white and I cut that one three and a quarter by four and that is going to go on the inside here. But first what we want to do is take a little bit of tear and tape and I want to seal this edge down. So I'm just going to run some tear and tape right down across here and seal it. Oh, lots of you guys like the marble paper. Yes, it's beautiful. I thought for sure it would sell out really quick, but we still do have some. So yay for that. And if you all were on my video this morning, if you guys were on my live this morning and I talked about the On the Horizon, it actually is non-orderable. It sold out while we were doing our live. All right, so here is our white piece. This will be for our inside so we can stamp our sentiment and write our little note on there to our friend. There we are. Okay, so this is actually your card. It's a regular four and a quarter by 11 folded in half, but we just put some extra score lines in there to make that window. So I did decide to use, well, I shouldn't say, I copied off Jen, right? So I'm using here together and I'm gonna use one of the sentiments from there on a tiny little piece of white that is one and a quarter by one and a half. So I'm using my Memento Black. I'm going to get it good and inky and stamp my sentiment. I'm going to have to come a little closer to myself. Every act of kindness changes the world. I love the, I love the sentiments in there. Uh-oh, I'm so sorry. Yep, on the horizon, the bundle. Now, the stamp set's available, but the bundle is not. There's a couple, couple of the bundles that I sold out. Now, they will come back. Um, and it looks like maybe mid-March is what their projection is. So we'll have to wait and see. Okie dokie, pokey. So we're going to add a couple dimensionals to that sentiment. And I am, all I have is minis and I don't want minis. Well, we'll make it work since that's what I have handy. Did I just smear it? No, I have ink on my finger though inky fingers. So we're going to put some dimensionals right close to the edge of that sentiment because that is what is going to be our stopper to make this card stand up. So we'll peel those backs off. And then what I did was this edge right here is going to line up with the edge of that designer series paper. So it's just going to hang out right here. You're not going to glue it down, but you're going to take the, the, um, the edge of that sentiment and just stick that down so it will hold it. So it's like the little lock and see how it becomes a bay window card. Adorable, right? Now I grabbed some punches. So I've got my heart punch here and some of the black and white here together or all together. It's the designer paper that goes with the stamp set. So I've got a heart there and then the scallop heart with flirty flamingo. So we'll attach these guys together. And this is going to become our focal point in the center of our bay window. 
So we'll add just down the center, I'm gonna put some pop dots. So the nice thing is this card actually folds flat so you can put it in the mail. And then when your person gets it, they can stand it up and it'll sit on their desk. And they will think that you are the coolest stamper in the world. Now, I did do a couple little hearts here. So these are punched out of the designer paper and the, um, I call it whirly bird, but it's not the whirly bird dies. Give it a whirl, give it a whirl dies. So I use the little stitched hearts there. So we're just gonna put a couple around, a couple around here. And then I also, I'm gonna stick one on the corner of our sentiment. There we are. And then I did another uh, uh, bigger heart out of the paper. So I thought that would just kind of sit there in the corner there. And you could add um, rhinestones or pearls, or you could even add ribbon, whatever you choose. But there is your bay window card. Okay. I also did it following Jen's example. I did it with the pink. So here is your flirty flamingo one. So there's two, two different flavors. You could do it with all the flavors of the marble paper. That would be cool. And then a long time ago, I had made one. Some of you guys may have taken this class. This was a fun fold class with the pansy patch. And we did a bay window for this one as well. So I pulled that one out of, the, out of retirement. And there we go. There is one with the pansies. So if you're looking for something bright and springy, maybe you want to... Um, grab the pansies and make a pretty, pretty fun fold there. All right, everybody. That's what I had to share with you guys tonight. Remember, let me know where you're joining from for a chance to win prize patrol. I'm going to make the announcement soon after the video is over. Um, let's hold on one second. I'm going to switch back here. All right, so I wanted to switch back so that I could say good evening. Whoops, try again. There we go. All right, I'm still learning the ropes, still learning the ropes. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Should you have any questions, make sure to let me know. The join link will be in the description of this video, and then I will post the PDF uh, to you guys as well. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Have a wonderful evening. And um, come back and see me on my Facebook page. You are on Stamp with Jody B. Um, but I will be here. No, I will be over at my page next week for Wow Wednesday. So a little shameless plug for my online Wow class. All right, guys, have a great evening. Talk to you later. Bye bye.